Hey there, welcome to another video. Yeah, I said in the last one that there wouldn't be that. That, I, that videos might be few and far between, but hey, I actually had time to do one, so I decided to do this one. I technically, well, let's say, put, put it this way. I rewrote the Book of Boba Fett, technically. Mainly just like a kind of like basic overview of like how the entire story would play out. Man, I say like a lot. That's not good. And let's take into account. I wrote this before seeing the last episode. Or seeing this second to last and last episode. I already knew what happened in the second to last episode, but didn't know anything about the last episode. And so I'm just going to read what I have written. And then I can maybe go back and... Or I'll probably go back through and talk about how... Eh, you know what, we're just going to start, forget it, we're starting. Um, so what I was, so here's what I have written down. Episode 1, you start with Boba escaping the Sarlacc. His armor is taken from him by pirates who are scavenging or whatever. He's found by the Tuscans, um, and instead of, like, making him a slave, treating him poorly, that kind of thing, have, they're impressed to see that a guy pulled himself out of the Sarlacc, and so they take care of him, uh, heal him, and eventually becomes part of the tribe. And you end the episode with the, like, uh, rail train or whatever you want to call it. I can't remember. The train, whatever. Going by and taking pot shots at him. And that, that's the end of episode one. Episode two, have Boba and some other Tuscans go and steal speeders. Practice with the speeders. Don't have any dumb jokes. Uh, the train sequence. They like take the train, whatever. And Boba helps create like a treaty with the Pikes. That's episode two. That's all episode two. Episode three. And yeah, I wrote this in like trying to keep that episode like the eight episode or s turns out it's seven episodes, keeping like a se the episode length. But you could totally change that. It doesn't like. A show can be longer than eight episodes, for crying out loud. Look at Clone Wars. Those seasons were really long. Uh, but moving on. Episode three or whatever, the next bit of story. We'll go with that. But, so, have it be that, like, Boba's been slowly getting more and more healed, thanks to some of the Tuscan's medicine or whatever. Have their kind of having this, like, trading deal with the Pikes, where, like, yeah, the Pikes can pass through the territory if they give some goods to the Tuscans or whatever, and have Boba and some of the Tuscans go to take out a pirate gang that's, like, coming into the territory or whatever. And while they're there, they learn that they had his armor at some point and sold it to Jawas or whatever. I don't know. I was thinking something along that lines happens. And then have the end of that episode be we see the Pikes hiring s some bounty hunters, two of which are Kersantan and Bane. And then start episode four or whatever with um, the Pikes are doing their regular scheduled delivery or whatever to the Tuscan tribe, but it's actually like bombs and whatever goes off and then like soldiers and the bounty hunters come in, led by Bane, and wipe out the tribe. And then Boba and the other Tuscans come back and they're the only survivors and... Like, it's the Pikes, and Boba, Boba wants revenge, and have either... Here's what I was saying. You could either have Boba really wants revenge, the other Tuscans are like, you know what, we're just going to go and be with this other tribe we know of over here, and just uh, not deal with all of this. Or you could have some of them go and do that, and then some of them go with Boba, and so Boba goes to get a ship. Like, that's his plan. He's going to go get a ship. And other Tuscans are going to go um, to be with this other tribe. Have Boba, either by himself or with other Tuscans, traveling to Jawa's palace. Along the way, finds Fennec, because apparently Fennec survives. That still kind of bugs me, if he's me. But Mando season 2 already happened. Finds Fennec, takes Fennec to get fixed.
but make it more Star Wars e. Don't, don't make the make the mods and everything make sense. Fennec helps him get his ship along with the other Tuscans if there are any with them. They get a ship, and he you could have like and then he decides he's gonna go make sure that his other tribes, the other people, the other survivors from his tribe actually made it to this other tribe. And on the way there, he does a flyover of the Sarlacc pit and drops a seismic charge. Just a flyby. Just boom. And at the, and then gets to where the other tribe is or whatever. And that's where we see like the shot. Like the whole at the beginning of Mando Season 2 where we see him standing on the cliff looking down at everything. Or seeing Mando fly wherever. Like, oh, the tribe that the survivors were going to is the tribe that lives near Moss Pogo and Cobb Vanth. And uh, that's how he knows Mando has his armor or whatever. Or to just take out the whole, oh, to find his armor. He doesn't know his armor. But on his ship, he has a tracer for his armor. Sees that they're in the, it's in the same, the tracer for his armor is in the same direction as where the uh, survivors of his tribe are. And so that's how he knows. And that's how he tracks down Mando. And then, like, episode six, you'd see, like, him tracking down Mando a little bit of what happened in season two. But it'd mainly be, like, so where did Boba go during the whole finale of season two like he does the whole like fake chase and then he takes off what i was thinking you could do is you have him go to a stockpile base kind of thing he has somewhere in the middle of nowhere that has a bunch of gear and everything and has some droids and stuff that are uh, fixing up uh start fixing up slave one a bit have him go in the back room to get or in another room, getting gear together, whatever. and then I was thinking, so, and that, I really, that, he, okay, that, like, there's this big pod, or whatever, and he goes over, and opens it up, and wakes up a droid, and the droid's High Slinger, the droid from the Clone Wars, the bounty episode, I think, and then he is in the unfinished Boba Fett Cad Bane episodes, uh, I was thinking you could do that, have he wakes up High Slinger, but that probably wouldn't make much sense. So it could be like a modified, like, mana guard droid, is what I'm thinking. And then they go, him and the droid. I really want it to be High Slinger, so I'm going to say High Slinger. High Slinger and Boba go pick up Fennec. They go to Jabba's Palace. Well, they go back to Tatooine. And take over the palace, and then Boba has Fennec leave messages at, like with local bosses saying like I'm, I'm here and I'm gonna fight the Pike. So you can either be with me or against me, kind of thing. And then you could have Boba sending messages out in the next episode. He's recruiting bounty hunters and soldiers. Fennec's gathering info on the Pikes and local gangs and other things. Um, having help from some of the local gangs, they're reporting to her. You could do the whole, like, assassination attempt with Chrysanthemum, which you could then have, like, he tries and fails because you have a epic fight between Chrysanthemum and High Slinger, which I think would be awesome to see. I think that'd be absolutely epic. And then he hires Chrysanthemum at the end of it all. Guard, he gets guards, other bounty hunters show up, Mando comes, Mando goes to recruit Cobb Vance, you have the whole standoff thing. Like, normal or whatever. And then, moving on, I have it written as like, this is what happens in episode 8, and this would be a lot to happen in episode 8. But, um... You have the big... You have... Like Freetown, Los Pogo guys show up at the beginning with, but they also come with the tribe of Tuscans, or at least some of them. Most of the survivors from Boba's tribe, and they're gonna fight with him. You have the big fight, or whatever, and you have, 
and th this is what I was thinking to continue the story a bit have you kind of have the Bane and Boba standoff except for Bane actually shoots one or two of the like survivor Tuscans and then flees and so you have like Boba wins and everything but because he's now like the crime murderer he puts a bounty on Cad Bane's head which I think would be a really interesting kind of twist and he, he's now after Bane or whatever uh, Mando takes off mentioning some friends and then Fennec does her whole assassination bit or whatever so that's, that, that was my original like rewrite of the Book of Boba Fett but rereading it and considering some of the things found out in the last episode if they're wanting to go the more Boba Fett's an honorable he's trying to be more honorable he's trying to be better and all that have and here's the thing do it in a linear sort of episode structure don't flashback present flashback all, like all the time i do linear up until yeah just do linear the whole time have him with the tuscans or whatever and then like with the whole cob vant thing you could have he sees like oh cob vant has been using my armor to help people and protect people and do all this and thanks to his time with the Tuscans he starts thinking more about that gets his armor back and what would be cool is when he goes off to get like gear or whatever after dropping off Fennec and the others or helping do the whole like fake chase whatever we see Boba oh wait no sorry that this happens before that chase what would be cool is if we actually saw like Boba repaint his armor and while he's repainting his armor, then you could do flashbacks to different things throughout his life. While he's repainting his armor. And while he's repainting it, you could totally have... He, like, goes to, like, fill in the dent on the helmet. Or whatever. And you get the flashback to, like, the standoff from Clone Wars. And he decides to leave it. As a reminder of that. And in this case, what you could have it be is, yeah, he wants, oh, he got his revenge on the pirates or whatever that, like, kill his family. Or you still, or you have it be the pikes outright, and he knows it's the pikes, so he kind of wants revenge. But um, when he shows up back on Tatooine, you see that, oh, like, the pikes have, have, have been in control of this area of Tatooine for a while now. And they haven't messed with Mos Pogo because there's been, one, a crate Dragon, but also uh, Cobb Vanth wearing the armor. And, like, Bib Fortuna and the rest are all answering to the Pikes. So Bobo goes and takes Jabba's palace. And then, from there, he um, starts hiring people, but also starts going into the town and shutting down uh, the pikes and kicking them out and taking on some of the gangs or whatever, going around like Cobb Vanth being a marshal, in a sense, being the marshal of uh, Mos, Mos Espa, is it, they say? Um, and we see more of that honorable side of Boba they're apparently wanting to take him in, which I'm all for and which you would then have more of like oh the people see what Boba's trying to do the people are more behind Boba as the story goes on and Bo and you bring in Bane as an antagonist to Boba and trying to make Boba do things that Boba doesn't want to do anymore and yada yada and you don't kill Bane at the end because Bane is now the main instead of the Pikes being the main antagonist for the second season, you have Bane who's the now the main antagonist for the second season. So yeah, that that was really all over the place and kind of nuts. But that that's how it works when you're a fan of things. Your brain jumps from what if this, what if that. It's one of the fun parts of being a fan and thinking about all these stories and everything. So let me know what you think. Um, share your own what ifs and ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Uh, Thanks for watching and listening. More listening because I don't really stick any video in these. It's just a picture. 
Maybe I should change that. Let me know. Hope you have a wonderful week.